I just want to make a vlog and talk about how uh, life has been going these past few days. And I must say it's been pretty struggling, rough and stuff. Sleep has not been easy ever since I left a, uh, Aman Amanda Park um, around here in Aberdeen. It's been really tough sleeping. Um, I, I slept in the Walmart parking lot for a couple of days and uh, there's just too much activity and um, yeah there's just that activity maybe where I parked wasn't the best spot I could have maybe moved over to the side a little bit more um, but it, it definitely made sleeping difficult um, finding places to pee and all that were uh, fairly easy except the Walmart closed between 11 and 6 due to construction <clears throat> it wasn't due to their business activity because they got plenty of that to stay open 24 hours but yeah the area is, is just it's different um, the weather is it's like either it's really sunny or um, and when it's not raining or if it's, it's really cloudy when it is raining it's no in between here it's, um, then I come over to uh, this other city, Hokium, and yeah, just sitting in my car a lot more. I've gone through half this book since I got to Aberdeen. Just been sitting and reading a lot. Great story, but I really need the exercise. Unfortunately, I'm too scared to bicycle around. Uh, um, more Aberdeen. Hokium doesn't seem as bad. Uh, I just have to get the bike out and ride. Yesterday it was pouring rain. Now today it's extremely sunny. But I just, I don't feel, today I, did, I, I would have done it, but I didn't feel up to it because my, my heart was giving me some problems. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really realize it uh, um, until last night when I tried doing my picnic table fitness. And then when my, when my get upside down, my head gets upside down, I can't, I couldn't breathe in. I know that um, my sinuses are, um, I'd say swollen, um, it's just, there's a, I can't breathe in, um, and I know something's wrong with that, but I was feeling it before that, I just don't think about those things, like it's hard to swallow, but I wasn't really giving that much thought, I, I really know it pronounced, it became pronounced that I could do, prick, uh, do some back exercises on the picnic table, that I didn't really... I notice that I just can't breathe when I'm upside down and normally I can breathe so <clears throat> I know that's a problem I was thinking you know I was having I was gonna have trouble sleeping um, and I did once again um, it's it's not like I feel like I'm gonna die or anything it's just things get swollen in the chest in fact I was coughing up a lot of like liquids again you could damn near call it a dry pneumonia, dry land pneumonia in some way, a mild pneumonia. I mean, pneumonia has to come in phases. It just doesn't hit you all at once. You could have light pneumonia, and I think I, I'm getting the light stuff. Uh, it's hard to say if it's the moisture in the car or, or some other kind of infection, but it's it got me. All right. I, I think maybe the, a little bit of stress having come to this new area has gotten me it's just the difficulty with the, the sleeping and finding places to uh, like bathrooms reliable bathrooms um, I'm changing up my habits a little bit I got this this uh, this a half gallon thermos at Walmart for my milk I've been drinking I usually drink a gallon of milk a day uh, but <clears throat> when uh, this I don't, I don't want to leave the milk sitting in here in the hot car because it's been really, really hot around here during the day. And that last, you know, even, it's only half gallon, but still that last half gallon, if I can protect it, I'll keep it in here at least. I was normally covering the, the milk jug with a, a blanket. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, today I really didn't get out and see the area much. I just... I've been really lazy because of this the heart thing. I want to take it easy when I get this this feeling. It's a swelling from something, maybe an infection. But I, I'm going to take it easy because I don't know the best approach for it yet.